Dear diplomats, these past few weeks I've been feeling outraged. The hell of revenge that Israel is letting rain down on the Palestinian people in Gaza after the Hamas atrocities is moving through my screen like an unstoppable train. I was a diplomat once, and I lived in Palestine. And then, too, Palestinian people were being dehumanized, displaced and killed by Israel. And my country, the Netherlands, did not do a thing. I did not want to be part of this non-response. So I decided to quit as a diplomat. Well, here we are. So many lives lost. I think about my seniors at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. They thought my moral objections were a sign of weakness. They scolded me for calling it apartheid. And they said trying to bring this up with the minister was not part of my role as a civil servant. Young diplomats have been sending me messages these past weeks. What can we do? They ask. What I would like to shout to them is this. Go, run as fast as you can. This rotten system does not deserve your talent. Apparently, diplomats are not expected to build a better world. But on the other hand, if all the good people go, what will remain? An emaciated carcass of old, heartless realpolitik. An institute where heroes, such as Jan Zwartendijk, a consul who saved the lives of thousands of Jewish people during World War II by tampering with visa papers, are reprimanded instead of being awarded a medal. So I say to these diplomats, stay. Stay as long as you can. Keep raising your voice. Keep calling out the facts. Use your creativity to increase the pressure. Be a guerrillero for justice and peace. Because they will try to push you back into your cage, arguing that civil servants simply have to implement the political mandate. Well, imagine if Jan Zwartendijk had followed the procedures. 10,000 more people would probably have been killed. To the members of the old diplomatic guard, all high and dry in your senior positions, I would like to urge you. Think about what you are doing when you are silencing these voices. Think about whether you want to remain a bystander in the face of this great injustice. Think about which side of history you are choosing. Do better.